And before we proceed to the storyline kindly like this video, comment for more reaction and share to your friends. And let's begin. Rudolph Kant's Rudy Hatfield II, born September 13, 1977, is an American-Filipino retired professional basketball player who played for Laguna Lakers in the Metropolitan Basketball Association and for Tandue Room Masters, Pop Cola Panthers, Coca-Cola Tigers, and Barangay Iginabirth San Miguel in the Philippine Basketball Association. He was born in Detroit, Michigan, Detroit, a beautiful and populous city located in Detroit, Michigan, United States of America. Rudolph Kant's Rudy Hatfield II entered the career as athlete in his early life after completing his formal education. He played college in University of Michigan, in Detroit, United States. In the 1999 draft after Hatfield's stint with Laguna Lakers in the Metropolitan Basketball Association, he was one of the two former NBA players signed by the Tandue Room Masters as direct hire beginning the 2000 PBA season. He played secondary role to Eric Mank and Sonny Alvarado, he also played alongside former UAA Most Valuable Player Chris Cantanjos and Mark Tellen. At the All Filipino Cup, they made an immediate impact by compiling a 9-7 record, good for second place despite being tied with Alaska and Formula Shell. In the playoffs, they easily defeated People's Cola and Alaska before losing to Shell in the finals 4-2. He's been hot in the eyes of the media as one of the Philshams. Hatfield is a gifted power forward who can do both offense and defense. Hatfield was obtained by Pop Cola the following season in a trade with Nolly Loxon which involved two other players. He turned into Pop Cola's most reliable frontline player as he made it to the mythical second team for the second straight year. Hatfield finished 14th in scoring with 13 points per game average. After playing for the Pop Cola Panthers, Hatfield was acquired by the Coca-Cola Tigers in 2002 and played with All-Stars Jeffrey Carriasso and Johnny Abarrientos. He became a power player here and helped the team win the 2002 All-Filipino Cup and the 2003 Reinforced Conference. He had a number of awards that include the mythical and all-defensive teams. He was also an All-Star in 2003. Hatfield, his first-ever PBA crown in 2002 when the Tigers beat Alaska in the final series that ended on Christmas Day. He also captured the finals MVP award after scoring 20 points in a 78-63 win over the Aces. Also part of that Coca-Cola team were Rafi Rivas, Poch Juinio, Otto Morano, Leo Avenido, Freddy Abuda, Jojo Manalo, and Will Antonio. Hatfield won another title in the 2003 Reinforced Conference where he won the best player of the conference. After the stint in Coca-Cola Tigers, Hatfield flew to the United States due to family issues concerns. In 2006, Hatfield becomes more notable when he came back from the United States and joined with Barangay Ginebra Kings where he helped the success of the team for the back-to-back -back championships. Given a moniker named the H-Bomb is one of the most colorful players to ever don the Ginebra uniform. An energy guy, he often feeds off the mammoth crowd that comes to support the Gin Kings. And even though his stint with the team has been marked by prolonged absence, he will certainly go down as a memorable character. Hatfield left the country in 2007 after helping the Kings win the All-Filipino Philippine Cup title. At that time, his girlfriend Bettany was in a legal battle for the custody of her daughter Bella from a previous marriage. The couple got married that same year and now has an eight-month-old daughter named Lila. That's the reason why I left. The reason why I didn't join the national team, which placed ninth overall in the FIBU Asia Championship in Takushima, Japan. I got married that same month, said Hatfield, who currently stays with his good buddy and Ginebra teammate Eric Mink. Back in the US, Hatfield, at 32 years old, said he took several jobs, including a computer software support, which I wasn't really good at. With his family settled in the United States, Rudy Hatfield feels now is the best time to resume his basketball career in the PBA. It took Hatfield almost three years to deal with issues concerning his family back in Michigan and now, the 6'3 forward is thrilled and excited to see action in the PBA again with the popular ball club Barangay Ginebra Kings. 
Hatfield said when he realized he wants to come back in the PBA he decided to play some pickup games to prepare him for his return. He's not in top shape yet, he said. As far as getting up and down the floor, I say eight or nine. Reading the plays and reading my teammates, maybe five. I guess in two weeks I'll be ready, said Hatfield, who has career averages of 13.4 points and 10.8 rebounds. I'm just happy to have an opportunity to play again, he added. One of Hatfield's teammates who is happy to see him back is Mank. On a personal level, I'm happy because he is my best friend. It's good to have him back. I miss him the last two years, Mank said. One thing is clear, though. He wants to help the Ginebra San Miguel team win another title just like he did when he first joined the franchise in 2007. Although the team was unsuccessful to secure a title after his second stint, Hatfield made an impact that would make an arena full and fans wanted to see him play. After 14 seasons of playing, in July 2013, Rudy Hatfield announces he will retire from the game of basketball, Barangi Ginebra San Miguel forward Rudy Hatfield is calling it a career. The hard-nosed rebounder and defensive specialist informed the Kings coaching staff and his teammates of his decision to retire right on Ginebra's first day of practice for the season-ending Governor's Cup. The 35-year-old cager, who spent 14 seasons in the PBA, said he wants to focus on his being a family man in Michigan and devote more time to his ministerial job as he hopes to become a pastor. For his career, Hatfield averaged 10.92 points, 9.72 rebounds, 2.52 assists and 1.22 steals playing for Tandaway, Popcola, Coca-Cola, and Ginebra. Rudy Hatfield was in a relationship with a Filipino artist Rufa May Quinto in 2000-2006. He married his wife Bethany Ho Hatfield in 2008. Hatfield lives in Detroit, Michigan with his wife and six children. For more videos like this please subscribe the channel, like the video and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you very much.